always prepare yourself as if you're going to get in the game. And at some point, you will get in that game. And the more prepared you are, the more you kill. Demonstrate your ability to be a good doer, thinker, thinker, doer. And when Grant Cardone said to me, hey, you know, I think I have to go out of town. We've got a boot camp. Grant has always done the boot camps. And I had partnered with him. I think it was the third boot camp. And I was at his house and he's like, oh my God, something came up. I've got a deal on a property. I cannot miss it. I've got to jump on the plane and get there. I'm going to lose it. Can you do my boot camp? And it was the first three hours of the opening day. And he had never let anybody do the talk. And he told me at 10 o'clock at night. And I said, dude, I got it, man. No problem. Now, at first, I didn't realize it was that boot camp. I was thinking it was the next one. But then Jared called me. I was on my way home at 10 o'clock. And he goes, you know, that's tomorrow morning, right? So I'm like, where? Where is the speaker binder that has the answers to the three hours of questions? And he goes, it's at the office. I swing by the office. I find it says speakers. So I grab it out of Grant's office. I go home. Jared sends me a link with three hours of Grant doing the talk. And I turn the talk on at 11 o'clock at night. I open the book and I call Jared back. I'm like, everything in the book is blank. He says, it's because Grant does it all out of memory. So I had to literally go through and watch three hours to understand how to answer any of the questions that he was asking and make sure they were the right answers. And I stayed up all night long. I went in and did his talk. His plans changed. So I made way through my talk. If I wasn't nervous enough with a thousand people in the room, he comes walking into the back of the room. And I had to be prepared. And what I can tell you is it went so well that he doesn't even do those talks anymore. I do all those talks. I prepared myself for the eventual moment where I had an opportunity to take his place. And I would suggest to all of you, wherever you work, if you work for someone, position yourself to be that person that you can go to. And another example of that is when we made a change within one of our executives at Cardone Ventures, and we were still running our marketing events. And AJ stepped up and said, hey, I can do everything that guy did. And I'm like, are you certain? dude? And he's like, no, I, I know it. I can do it. I'm like, all right, well, you're a guy. Let's check it out. He went and he's still doing it today. So the key there is always prepare yourself as if you're going to get in the game. And at some point you will get in that game. And the more prepared you are, the more you kill it. So congratulations. You all want to encourage your employees to have the courage to take action and solve problems, but you want to duplicate best practices. So you don't want them randomizing, or if you have employees that aren't taking the right actions, they'll actually screw the business up. So you need to make sure that people understand the rules and within the boundaries of the rules, you allow them to take action and, and give them opportunities to succeed. And if you continue to do that, you'll develop more people and then people will see that's your culture. Like you got to work hard, you got to train, you have to prepare. And then boom, one day you get to step in and play the game. And then you promote those people to the company and say they're in here doing what they're doing because they prepared. And like we had our first round of promotions in our strategic business unit this last year, because it's fairly new. And we elevated a whole group of leaders up and we're going to continue to, to do that. And it sends a message that the business is growing and we need people that understand with context, what we're doing and how to do it. And and then leaders are created because leaders can create other leaders because they know what it feels like. They know what their experience was. And for me, I'm really super excited as we fast forward another year and another year, we're going to be creating a whole new round of executives who then can go to new companies we're starting and start running those companies because they will have been here three years, four years, five years, six years. They know how we work. They know how we think. They know how we operate, what the expectations are of our leadership team. So this is how you grow and scale a business is by giving your people an opportunity to succeed and then acknowledging that they did a great job and then promoting and developing them into their next iteration of career. So I was just finishing edits on my book. It's absolutely going into final edit this week. And I was reading about promoting Mason Walker to eight different positions in the company. And then watching him make $10 million. I mean, I was just reading that. And I was like, I can't, I, you know, you forget that stuff. It was 16 when we did it. But I remember him as first day on the job. And, and you want to have those imprints and you want to talk about it to people. So I don't know if you guys had saw, but we did our first 10X Health webinar last night. Imagine building something that was a few hundred thousand dollars a month. 18 months later, we're doing 5 million a month. And we finally get our systems and our technology. Remember those 10 elements. We're finally to the data. And now the ninth element 
it's technology and we're getting the technology on to the point where we can start tracking stuff. And Grant's like, great, let's throw a webinar. Five days ago, he said, let's throw a webinar together. We're not going to spend $1 in promotion. We had 18,000 opt-ins and we had 4,000 people show up and we generated hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. And that evergreen will run now over and over and over as a lead gen. My guess is that one little live cast webinar we did, and it was not that good to be honest with you. We all agreed, man, we can do a lot better. We believe that thing can generate millions of dollars running in the ether bringing new clients in. So it really gets exciting when you get momentum and you get these things going.